Welcome back. We were there today as Fort Worth dismantled sports equipment at City Parks, part of enforcement of the city's whole stay at home order. Jason Allen is live for us in Fort Worth tonight. Uh, understand that you found out that the city has been receiving thousands of calls, which is a lot in the last week, from a lot of people basically reporting others who aren't at home. Yeah, it, it has, Doug. And these are calls on everything from just asking if a business is essential and allowed to be open to calling in about seeing a couple people too close together on a trail to reporting too many people out uh, playing sports together and it was in response to one of those reports from this past weekend that this is what Fort Worth manage emergency management office decided they needed to do today they took down the basketball hoops at outdoor public courts they also said they'd be removing volleyball nets at those courts and all of those facilities in the city are now closed. We also saw reports from Arlington and Keller doing similar things in their parks today. And we asked police and fire departments in code compliance today just how many of these types of calls and complaints that they're getting right now. Well, Fort Worth told us 1,955 calls have come into their COVID-19 hotline that they set up just a week ago. Another 1,018 calls related to the virus have come into the city's service call center and they told me in the last hour these really spiked the day after the stay home order went into place. If people call 911 or non-emergency numbers, they told me those are relayed to the hotline and then on a case-by-case -case basis they're forwarded out to code enforcement or the fire department to go check out. Now, they are not going to go out on every call that comes in and the fire department today compared it for me to say 4th of July fireworks calls that come in. They'll go out to check out a report of a big extended show somewhere, but they're probably going to skip the call that comes in about one person who has a firecracker in their driveway. They're handling it very much in the same way right now with some of these reports that come in. But the fire department did tell me today they do want people to call in with violations or questions. They do want people, though, to go to the city website use the hotline and use the email address that is set up there. We've also put a link to those on our website tonight at cbsdfw.com. Live in Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.